Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Peja Monet. If you're not new here, welcome back. So guys, we're just going to get into how I got this hair, this color, and also this pretty install. First, before we hop into this video is of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications like simple easy right okay guys let's hop straight into this video so guys i got this wig from amazon when i first got it, it was 613 then i did dye it like a fuchsia but i didn't like that color therefore i stripped it if you guys want to see how i strip a color from a 613 wig i will show you all but yeah let's just hop straight into the actual process so first you want to get your colors i use pink petal as my first base color then i use neon pink as the middle color and then lastly i use the color pink blush for the bottom color and that color is going to be more vibrant at the bottom what you want to do is already boil some water on the stove i already previously boiled this water before starting this video um, you guys really don't have to have it steaming hot, but I did, and I went ahead and added my first color, which is pink petal. Then I went to make sure that this wig was fully brushed through so that the color could distribute evenly. Next, I put the color in the water and just mix it up pretty well so that it can all be dissolved in the water. You do not want to dip your wig in the water and have little splotches of color still floating around because once that stains your wig, it's really, really hard to get out, okay? Ooh. Now for the base color of the whole wig, which is pink petal, you want to start just by dipping basically the entire wig into the water. I know right now it might not seem like you can see the color really well, but it is a really light pink. All you want to do is just keep dipping it and also make sure you go in and brush it out so that the color does get on all of the hair strands. If that first color isn't bright enough for you or vibrant enough for you, you can always go back in and add the rest of the colors. So I just finished using the rest of the pink petal. And yeah, I'm just going to keep dipping the wig until I get it to the color and tone that I want. Now for your second color, which is neon pink. What I'm gonna do is basically do the same thing I did with the first color. I'm going to add this in, I guess, in portions and just add a little bit, brush out the wig, especially in the middle, as you guys can see that it's kind of really light. So I just wanna brush that open so when I do dip, that color gets on those spots first and really sinks in. guys to start that ombre effect unlike dipping it the first time where you dip the entire wig into the water this time you want to only dip half of the wig into the water so this way that second color can start like basically in the middle of your wig if that makes any sense you guys can kind of see how that darker tone pink starts like kind of halfway in the in the wig if if y'all can see what I'm saying, but yeah, just make sure you don't dip the entire wig into there and only like halfway. And y'all can see that the color is like really, really doing the ombre look. Now 
Now to finish off the ombre look, we're going to add our last color, which is pink blush. And guys, you do not have to change the water. Since this is all pink, you do not have to change the water, okay? So now for this color, as y'all can see, I'm really only focusing on the ends of the hair. And what I'm going to do, y'all will see at the end, I'm going to let the ends of the wig sit in the water for maybe about 20 minutes. Just to make sure that the ends really, really, really get that vibrant, super, super vibrant pink, okay? And this is going to create that third layer of pink, which will complete our ombre look today. As you guys can see this ombre pink is complete this color is so pretty you guys like I was super excited it came out exactly how I wanted it to literally from light pink to the very neon to the pink blush like I loved how this came oh and I'm so ready to install okay period okay guys so now i'm just gonna blow dry the wig completely so that i can start this install process um for the install process i'm not really gonna talk too much I'm just going to go into a little detail about the wig. But other than that, I'm going to play some nice little tunes for us to watch. And I will let you guys finish watching the video. straight into the install process i'm going to be using my bold hold active and guys i'm going to be applying this wig like a lace closure wig only because y'all i did not know when i ordered this wig on amazon that it was a t-part wig if any of you guys know what a t-part wig is you guys know what i'm talking about so i really had to sit and finesse this wig but all around it was a good wig i just don't like the t-part wig i like to change up my parts and everything a little too much so that's the only reason that i'm kind of you know have a con about this wig but other than that the hair was really nice everything was still really soft so yeah i'm just gonna finish adding the glue and everything on and once everything is on and down i will come later and explain just a little more about the wig Change got me. 
trying to add just a small amount of layers into the hair just because since I've dyed it and stripped it everything I didn't want it to be too you know frail and thin at the ends even though again this hair did pretty well but I still want to take precaution because it is human hair I went ahead and just trimmed up the ends a little bit before I started styling I'm using my new curling wand to wind my hair and honestly guys I do really like this curling wand instead of it being all the way circular it's more like an oval type um curling wand you see how flat it is but it still gives you that cute bouncy curl the link to my curling wand will be in my description box if you guys would like to know where I got it from and also what is the exact type of this curling wand. You guys can go check that out in my description box below. I did not like it and I think maybe it's just this type of wig and the middle part I'm just not messing with it like it doesn't look bad especially after I added my um makeup and everything like it looks okay A couple days later only thing I did was basically flexi rod my curls and just flexi rod my hair into a side part if that makes sense y'all because like I said this was only a T part wig therefore I couldn't change the part so I kind of had to finesse how I styled this hair to get it a side part Please do not mind my edges showing y'all like I don't have this wig pinned down or anything a couple days um later so yeah this week i slept on it and everything and just had it in these flexi rides but the hair has done pretty well you guys like honestly it has done really well the hair isn't stiff at all and i use free spray on it but it's not stiff so only thing i'm doing is basically just styling the hair how i would like to wear it and yeah i will see you guys towards the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy so far Thank you guys for watching my video. Again, I'm Paige Monet. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. I will see you guys in my next video.